We're now halfway through our triple header, and this time it's a sprint weekend. It's the Austrian Grand Prix, and it's round 11. The race of the Red Bull Ring takes place over 71 laps. The very short circuit as well being only 4.318 kilometers long. We should probably mention the sprint race as well. That's going to take place over 24 laps on the Saturday. The most constructors win at this circuit, that's Ferrari, with seven. I mentioned that it's only a short circuit, and it is, with only 10 official corners. And one of those, well, isn't really a corner. It does have three DRS zones though, one after another. The first is down the pit straight, then another on the long straight down towards turn three, and then the last one straight after down towards turn four. The last winner of the race, well, let me just quickly check my nut. Yeah, it was Max Verstappen. Who else? For the tires, we're back to the softest available once more, so the C3, C4, and C5 compounds. It's a circuit that requires the maximum grip, especially with the elevation. Let's talk track limits. Despite being one of the shortest tracks that we have on the calendar, Austria is a real challenge for the drivers, especially when keeping all four wheels within track limits. Last year was a pretty wild race for track limit penalties. Carlos Sainz, Lewis Hamilton, Pierre Gasly, Esteban Ocon, oh, especially Esteban Ocon, Logan Sargent, Nick de Vries, and Yuki Tsunoda all getting at least five seconds worth of penalties. It was chaos. With how close the front pack is this time around though, drivers are gonna need to be extremely careful to not get punished, because five seconds could make a huge difference for the win and that wouldn't be a good way to lose the race. So why are they so easy to get around Austria? Well, the track is just so inviting, and because of its high-speed nature, it can be quite difficult to judge. The main culprits of track limits are the final two corners, turns nine and 10. There is tons of runoff, but not only that, drivers throw the cars into these corners, and just a very small misjudgment can mean running wide. There are no if, buts, and maybes here though. Even if you lose time, you will still gain a warning for track limits, if you cross that line. We need to watch out for it this weekend. Having said that, the circuit organizers have made some changes to the track ahead of the Formula One race this weekend, after all the chaos last year. Speaking about the changes to the track, track director Ernst Wolf told Motorsport Magazine, we have solved that. Importantly, this was done in agreement with the FIA and the FIM, which is the World Motorcycle Association. It has to fit together. We can't optimize the track for one, and then the others can't drive it anymore. As I mentioned, one of the most critical parts of the circuit, especially for track limits, was turn nine and turn 10. And the FIA was struggling to monitor all those off tracks because drivers were doing it so frequently. That is now gonna be solved this weekend as a temporary gravel section has been added to the runoff zone. These are the first images that we have of the new gravel trap. And these are courtesy of parkfur.me. I see what they've done there. And so big credit to them for these images. The gravel trap's a little bit underwhelming. I thought it'd be a little bit more substantial, but when you consider what I'm about to tell you, it does make a little bit more sense. Before I saw these images though, I put together a little artist's impression of what the gravel trap could look like. I mean, this is what I came up with, but obviously I went a little bit over the top. Going back to what I said though, this gravel trap makes sense because, well, it's not permanent. This gravel section will be converted back to asphalt immediately after the end of the race because of MotoGP. So they're actually only doing it for Formula One and it won't be a permanent fixture of the circuit. And there we have it. I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. We are in the middle of a triple header. I don't expect any huge upgrades. As always, this is the place to be for all your Formula One content. And if you wanna watch the race along with me, I'll be here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll see you then.